In this lecture, I'm going to solve this question. So in this question, we are given a PDF and in the part A, we have to verify that this PDF is a legitimate PDF. So to verify that this PDF is a legitimate PDF, we have to show that the integral of f of x comma theta dx from minus infinity to infinity should be equal to one. And as we can see that x is greater than zero here. So this implies that we have to show that the integral of f of x comma theta dx from zero to infinity is equal to one. And this means that we have to show that x divided by theta square multiplied by exponential raised to the power minus x square divided by two theta square dx from zero to infinity, the integral of this from zero to infinity should be equal to one. Now this looks quite tedious, right? So let's simplify this probability density function a bit. So let x square divided by two theta square is equal to t. So this means that I am letting this equal to t, the power of the exponential. Now let us differentiate this equation. So differentiating this equation, we get two x dx divided by two theta square is equal to dt. We can cancel this and this and this implies that x dx divided by theta square is equal to dt. And let's name it two and let's name this assumption one. Now, because we are transforming our probability density function in terms of t, let us transform these values as well in terms of t. So for x is equal to zero, what will be the value of t? Well, t is equal to x square divided by two theta square. So when x is equal to zero, t will also be equal to zero, right? And for x is equal to infinity, t will also be equal to infinity. Okay. Now let's write the probability density function that we have in terms of t. So as you can see here, we can write this expression. Let me mark it. We can write this expression as e raised to the power minus t. Right. So we can write this as e raised to the power minus t and x divided by theta square dx is equal to dt. This is our equation number two. This comes from here. So that means we can write dt here. Okay. So now our integral becomes this and the t values that we have are from zero to infinity. So basically I have transformed the probability density function from this to this using equation one and two. And our problem boils down to showing that this is equal to one. So now let's integrate this function. We know that the integration of e raised to the power minus t is equal to minus e raised to the power minus t. And the values that we have are zero to infinity. So let's substitute these values. So this implies that minus e raised to the power minus infinity minus minus e raised to the power zero. So this is equal to minus one e raised to the power infinity minus minus one. And this is zero because we have e raised to the power infinity in the denominator. So one divided by infinity is zero and plus one and this is equal to one. And that's what we wanted to show. So this means that this PDF is a legitimate PDF. Now let's move to part B of this question. So in part B, we have to suppose that theta is equal to zero and then we have to find the probability that X is at most 200. So that means we have to find the probability that X is less than equal to 200. So this means we have to find this, right? And we know that the probability density function is X divided by theta square e raised to the power minus x square divided by two theta square dx. So once again, I can let x square divided by two theta square equal to t. 
and differentiating both the sides, we can get x dx divided by theta square is equal to dt, right? And we can write for x is equal to 0 because these are the values of x 0 and 200. For x equal to 0, t is equal to 0 whole square divided by 2 theta square and this is equal to 0. And for x is equal to 200, t is equal to 200 whole square divided by 2 multiplied by 100 whole square because we are given in the question that theta is equal to 100 in this case. So solving this we get 200 multiplied by 200 divided by 2 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 and this is equal to 2. So our problem boils down to integrating e raised to the power minus t dt from 0 to 2 and we know that the integration of e raised to the power minus t is minus e raised to the power minus t and we have these values here. Putting these values we get minus e raised to the power minus 2 minus minus e raised to the power minus 0 and this is equal to minus e raised to the power minus 2 plus 1. So this is equal to 1 minus e raised to the power minus 2 and this is the probability that x is less than or equal to 200. Now after finding this probability we have to find the probability that x is less than 200. So that means we have to find the probability that x is less than 200. Well, because x is a continuous random variable, the equal to sign will not matter in this case. So this implies that the probability that x is less than 200 is equal to the probability that x is less than equal to 200. And this means that this is equal to 1 minus e raised to the power minus 2. Quite trivial, right? Let's now calculate the probability that x is at least 200. So now we have to calculate the probability that x is greater than or equal to 200. So this means that we have to integrate f of x comma theta dx from 200 to infinity and we are given that theta is equal to 100 and this implies that we have to integrate x divided by theta square e raised to the power minus x square divided by 2 theta square dx from 200 to infinity. Now you know that we can convert this probability density function in terms of t and that would give us e raised to the power minus t dt. So that's trivial. And before we write the entire function in terms of t, let's find the t values corresponding to these x values. So for x is equal to 200, we have t is equal to x square divided by 2 theta square. So this will be equal to 200 square divided by 2 multiplied by 100 square and this is equal to 2 and for x is equal to infinity we have t is also equal to infinity. So our problem boils down to integrating e raised to the power minus t dt from 2 to infinity and this is equal to minus e raised to the power minus t and we have 2 and infinity here. This is equal to minus e raised to the power minus infinity minus minus e raised to the power minus 2. This term is 0. So this is 0 minus minus e raised to the power minus 2 and this is equal to e raised to the power minus 2. Now let's move to part c. In part c we have to calculate the probability that x is between 100 and 200. So that means we have to calculate this f of x comma theta dx and once again we have to assume that theta is equal to 100 this is given in the question so we have to assume that theta is equal to 100. This implies that we have to find this so we have to integrate x divided by theta square multiplied by e raised to the power minus x square divided by 2 theta square dx from 100 to 200 and once again we can convert this in terms of t that would be equal to minus e raised to the power minus t and because we are converting everything in terms of t we have to also convert these x values in terms of t 
So for x equal to 100, we know that t is equal to x square divided by 2 theta square and this is equal to 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 2 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 because theta is also equal to 100. We can cancel all these and this is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, for x is equal to 200, I have already calculated this. We know that the t value is equal to 2. And this means that our problem boils down to finding this e raised to the power minus t dt. And we know that the integral of this is minus e raised to the power minus t. We have 1 by 2 here and 2 here. And this is equal to minus e raised to the power minus 2 minus minus e raised to the power minus 1 by 2. And this is equal to minus e raised to the power minus 2 plus e raised to the power minus 1 by 2. And this is the answer. Let's move to part D. So in part D, we have to give an expression for the probability that x is less than or equal to x. So we have to write an expression for this and this is equal to the integral of our probability density function which is f x comma theta dx from 0 to x and we can write it as integral of x divided by theta square multiplied by exponential raised to the power minus x square divided by 2 theta square dx from 0 to x. Once again we can let x square divided by 2 theta square is equal to t and differentiating this equation we get 2x dx 2 theta square is equal to dt and this implies that x dx divided by theta square is equal to dt. Now to convert this equation in terms of t, we have to find the corresponding t values, the t values corresponding to these x values. So for x is equal to 0, we know that t is also equal to 0 and for x is equal to x, we know that t is equal to x square divided by 2 theta square. So our problem boils down to, so I mean we can write this function, this expression as e raised to the power minus t dt and the integral of this from 0 to x square divided by 2 theta square. This is equal to minus e raised to the power minus t and we have 0 here and x square divided by 2 theta square and this is equal to minus exponential raised to the power minus x square divided by 2 theta square minus minus exponential raised to the power 0 and this is equal to 1 minus exponential raised to the power minus x square divided by 2 theta square. So this is an expression for the probability that x is less than or equal to x and with this we are done with this question.